Hello, hello. Welcome to my kitchen. I think we've seen my kitchen before. I get very thrown when I see friends and they go, your house is really lovely, by the way. People that have never been to my house. I, I saw a friend recently who I haven't seen for about a year and she's like, oh yeah, your new place in Chichester, lovely. I just forget that I've put things like this on the internet, on YouTube, on Instagram. We're in my kitchen this morning. I just had a little Skype chat this morning with a mentor that I've been speaking to for about three or four months now which is cool i don't know if anyone else has ever looked into like mentoring but i'm really getting into it and i'm really enjoying kind of having someone who's there to guide me and i think it is a fantastic investment in like yourself i'm eating yesterday's leftovers which is a vegetable lentil dish which looks like this i mean it doesn't look that appetizing but it tastes amazing and i've just whipped up a little salad that's gonna go with it got some feta here and i thought i'd chop that in into it at the very end and the good thing about this is it's gonna fill me up and then later on i'm gonna go to the gym so this vlog that you're about to watch now there's me doing some moderating like presenting on a panel <laughs> this is a microphone <laughs> talking to other people it was my first time doing that at this event called summer in the city so that was fun i think it could have gone better but first time doing anything is always going to be tough but a lot of people gave me some like nice feedback so that was great get my feta on there do it the greek way and just put the whole thing on and then you chop it up after lovely this is my brunch i got that presenting thing with summer in the city which was moderating a panel called women in comedy and my job was to sort of keep the panel moving keep asking the questions just have a good time really so that was really really fun i'd love to do some more presenting then you've also got some footage in this vlog from me going out bowling with rog and suze and atch which was lovely love seeing them and doing just different stuff for date night because akila and i have decided to assign one night a week to date night where we do something fun and most recently we did a double date night with Rog and Suze who you might have seen before on this channel. They're our neighbours and they are just lots of fun. They're really really great people. Bit of this, bit of that. It's been fairly busy. I've just got a lot on my mind before I go to Greece. There's a lot of stuff I want to get done. I've got some personal projects brewing. So just sort of tying up some loose ends before before I go and dreading the packing. But anyway, enjoy this vlog and I will see you at the end. Okay, so I'm about to host the Women in Comedy panel here at Sitsi. I'm waiting for the girls to arrive. Mm -hmm. We've got Laura, Becky, you might recognise Bambino Becky from a John and Lear video. Law Bubble, everyone knows her. There's Amber, who's someone new who I haven't met yet. And then someone called Elbat, whose name is Eleanor. Eleanor? I think they're arriving. Eleanor, not Eleanor. Okay. Eleanor. Here come yeah. the girls. Oh, there's Becky. Oh, Hello. Oh, shut up. <laughs> Hello, everyone. How are we doing? Good turnout. Hey, hey, hey. Good turnout. Um, so, I guess the first question I have, and it's for everyone, is how did you find your comedy style? Mine was just by accident. Again, it was just messing around. I think a lot of people back in the day started just by messing around, like making sketches and stuff. And one of my questions is about uh, when you get an idea. So you get an idea for a video, how do you get the ball rolling? How do you get it from being in your head to being something that people can watch? Like, I remember like YouTubers and like, one of them, like Callum Martin, will like, come into my room and be like, what are you laughing at? And I'm like, all right, yeah, it's my video. <laughs> and I'd like quickly cross the tab and I'm like, oh, this is a really funny video on, on YouTube, it's not me. <laughs> do you feel like you need validation from men? Oh, hell no. <laughs> Who's laughing? <laughs> no, I would say no to be fair. If money was no issue, oh, if the budget that. was unlimited, yeah. What would I do? Money issues, but <laughs> what, what How do you pay the money? <laughs> you live in London now. Just cry oh, yeah. to the landlord. What's London like? Amazing. Yeah. Yeah. Amazing, but so busy. Still yeah. out there. If, if money was no issue and budget was unlimited, so what would we all make? Like, would you still be making what you make currently? Like, that project was unlimited. That could be quite cool with sketches. Yeah, I'd just make like a two hour long comedy sketch and call it a feature film. Nice. And then get like loads of comedians that would be iconic. Yeah, but like, for all the actors. Yeah. Like Sarah Milligan, like Trevor Wilson, Mindy Kaling, like get them all aboard. 
Nice. That would be awesome. That would be really good. Crowd funded. Oh, I'm thinking yeah. big yeah. funded. This is yeah. a very small scale. Yeah. It's like millions of pounds. Yeah, not a million dollars. Yeah. 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 Massive sketch show. And then do you like a push to get more females into comedy as well on YouTube? Yeah, that's nice. Do you know what? I would probably pay Tanya Bird to collab with me. What would you do when you do collab? Like, what would you? I don't know. Would you just a perfect match? Would you freeze? Would you be like, Tanya Bird? She can do things like me too. I don't. Oh, like she thinks it's a meme. Like you I think she thinks I'm taking the meme. Didn't someone at the meeting group buy you your meme? Someone bought me the full Tanya Bird cosmetics. Nice. That's amazing. <laughs> Is it good stuff? Exactly. I'll, I'll let you know. Give me oh, a week. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. You could do um, you could do an unboxing with you. Oh my God, please. Yeah. Please. Yeah. Yeah. And, 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 and then tweet it to her to see what she thinks. I don't know if she would do that. On IGT. This is just the TV fan club. She watches a lot of IGTV, our town. I love town. Okay, so we're going to open up for questions now. If anyone's got any, just raise your hand and the uh, mic runner will just come round. How did it go? It's alright. Was it? You girls did amazing. Well done. On our way to bowling, Arch is triggered. I'm fuming. He's absolutely fuming because the station have got the barriers down, which means you can't cross. Because there's a train that's meant to be passing, but they've been down for ages. Yeah, because it's just probably stuck at the station. And it's like, well, I'm not being funny, but you could have let about a million cars go through, and I'm not even exaggerating. I know. About a million would have gone through <laughs> at this point. A million. Look, here Here's it is. Here's a train. 17 years later. Oh, I've tragic. just grown a new grey hair. You grow those every five minutes, like. Look at that woman in the in the car over there. She's having a party. Party? Oh. Oh, watch out for that trolley. Oh. <laughs> I bet you gave it a try. Okay, go on then, go on then. Um, see those things that's sticking up? Oh, I know. Try and hit them. Yeah. <laughs> Sue's like that one, isn't she? Oh, oh look at that! Oh, oh, oh! Oh, oh that's like. No, that, that, was that zero? You did say there's absolutely no chance of me winning like zero, less than zero percent. Can you just, can you just? Absolutely, I'm, I'm, I'm more than happy to discuss with your viewers stats. Total in points, no. Nachi 218, Leah at 206. Yeah, but. Score's embarrassing, please keep it. <laughs> okay, so, so overall. You didn't win. Let's just, let's I won just the second. clarify. I got. I was the clarify. only player to get two strikes in a row. Leah also got the highest if, if individual you want, score. If you Thank want you, to, Rochi. If you want to go into specifics, yeah. we look at game one where I thrashed everyone at 1-1-2. One, one, oh, get um, over it. But Leah won and I, you know, potentially thrashed everyone at 1-2-1. One, one. Okay, so is it a draw? No, because I won overall. One of the worst things ever just happened. Getting ready to go to bed, and, ready then... To go to bed and then... You just you see the door slightly ajar and you're like, I've just remembered I need to hang the washing up. I Generally know. one of the worst things in life. People with a dryer can't relate because loads of like my American followers don't use these. I always get comments being like, why do you use them? Why don't what? you just stick it in the dryer? Really? Yeah. Do you use clothes horses? No. They don't even know what a clothes horse is. I think dryer always just absolutely ruins your clothes. Yeah, I use the dryer in LA and everything shrunk. The three worst things in life. Yeah. Right? Is at number one, straight at the top, having having to 
remembering you need to hang the washing up when you're just ready to go to bed. Right? Yeah. Number two is a freezer with no ice cream in it. <laughs> yeah, genuinely. Yeah. Like third is famine. <laughs> <laughs> It's genuine. Um, that was incredible. You know? Yeah. So, three it was things very I, I never, you know, I want to stop. Yeah. I really want to stop. And In the spare room, here we go. This is where we hang our washing up. This is also my office, as you guys may, may or may not know. Look at this now, right? There's yeah. a pile of wet clothes. I know. And, and we're going to have to, well, we'll probably do it together double time. I do the heavy stuff first and I do all of that at the end. No. But if I just go and get these and get them on the middle ones. Listen, there's a technique to this. You start from the bottom and you go up. Oh, right. Yeah. Do you know what? From this side, I can do pants. And on that side, you can do socks. All right. So you pick up a pants when I just say I'm doing pants. <laughs> you are I, amazing. I swear, I swear I didn't even listen to yeah. any of that. <laughs> I'm not even joking. I said, yeah, and I didn't actually listen to you it. You didn't listen to a word of what I said, actually. Sorry? <laughs> I'm missing a sock. Oh look, there's one. But it's oh. one of mine, so you probably don't one care about it. <laughs> it's one of yours, so to be honest, I don't care. <laughs> don't imagine if it's on the floor like that, yeah? Yeah, that's Like, I'll see it and go like this. And then just carry on. They don't smell as good as yours. You know why? I you don't forgot think, to put fabric conditioner. I didn't put fabric conditioner in. There we go. Dreamwork makes the team work. And we're done. What Had is to... this? I'm adding one more to the list. Yeah. Number four. What? Things... That don't hang, wash well. No, things to hang on a clothes horse that are like ridiculous in shape. Yeah, but actually, when it's on the body, it sits and it's baggy. You've seen that shirt on me and you like it. No, right, let me just go and get a hanger and we can just hang it. Alright. Alright, calm down. Don't throw it away. Okay, thank you. Okay, thank you, actually. This is my towel because I was about to go for a shower before we realised we had to do all of that. Okay, good night. in London like a yo-yo. <laughs> I've got an acting job today which is cool. Really excited about that. But yeah, wake up at half five. you just saw there was me on my way to an acting job where once again I didn't film anything actually during the job because I was just so focused on being present so I didn't get anything filmed however I think luck has been on my side lately because for anyone who watched my London vlog very recently you'll know that I just filmed that comedy short that was a teaser for something bigger and that's really cool that's coming out in September a week, a week after that, um, two friends that I uh, know through sort of improvisational comedy world contacted me and they were like, hey Leah, we've written this thing, do you want to be in it? It's just a small role, but we'd love to have you, we think you're really funny. And I haven't worked with them for ages and they're called In Cahoots and they're a comedy duo and two guys, really, really, really funny, both successful in their own right, sort of outside of their duo, have done like BBC shows, Channel 4, Netflix, like they've done some really cool stuff. So I was really excited about that. It was really, really good. I went along, we were shooting in London. They were doing a three day shoot, but I was just involved for one day, like for the morning. And I'm, my character, it's sort of like student vibes and we're a group of, we're a group of friends. Uh, I guess you could say that they look like the kind of group that would smoke weed and do nothing all day so stoners which is quite a fun role really I <laughs> I've never played a stoner I don't know if I came across as a stoner I think I basically just came across as myself but you'll see that when that comes out I can't wait to share it with you I have no idea when it will be out but you guys will be the first to know about it and hopefully you guys can go and check out more of their work because I really really like them I think you would too that's kind of the end of the vlog let me know in the comments what you guys feel about mentoring if you've ever thought about it. It wasn't something I thought I would ever really want or need, but now that I have got a mentor, like a life mentor, I am also really, really interested in mentoring someone else and like maybe helping someone else who wants to do sort of what I've done, whether that's like start a YouTube channel or try and get into comedy world. Maybe someone who's like in the early stages of their online career i'm looking to sort of take them under my wing because my mentor said that it'd be a really great exercise for me for to mentor somebody else as well you know not like a get them to pay you just a free thing like to do it for the sake of giving 
and I'm, I'm really interested in that so I mean definitely let me know if <laughs> I don't know where I'm gonna find this person but I'd like to mentor you know maybe a young woman or it doesn't have to be young even just someone starting out because I think that maybe I'll have something to add anyway I'm gonna eat my food now thank you for watching this vlog I hope you've enjoyed it please share my channel with someone you think might like it someone who you think might like it subscribe comment do all the things and i will see you next time au revoir